The idea of a semantic layer is by giving structure to this, by giving a name to each measure, by giving a name to each dimension and a name to the fact, then you can pick and choose these things atomically. I wanted to call out something that you said, Mike, because I think it's really important and it is really one of the core justifications for why we have a semantic layer. And you were talking about the idea of SQL to represent a measure. And if you're writing a whole SQL query yourself, you would write the expression, so yes. the sum of a column, and yep. then you would write as, yes. to alias that thing with a name. Yep. And so that's two pieces mm -hmm. of information in a SQL query. The first is the expression, the logic to define this yep. aggregation we care about. And then also the naming is directly in line in a single SQL query. And there's no structure to that other than the structure of the SQL query. And so the idea of a semantic model in general, not the Power BI semantic model, not tabular, not a metric view, just in general, a generic semantic model. You take this definition and instead of having it in this giant query, you have a structure where you say that we have many things that are measures. Each of these things that is a measure has a name and each of these things that is a measure that is named has a definition and we can pick which of these measure definitions we want.